When we think of liver cancer, we usually imagine adults. But did you know there is a type of liver cancer that affects young children? It's called as hepatoblastoma. And while it's rare, it's the most common liver cancer in children, usually under the age of three. So what causes it? We don't always know, but we do know that children born prematurely or with certain genetic conditions like Beckwith-Weidman syndrome or familial adenomatous polyposis are at a higher risk. The early signs are subtle, a swollen tummy, a firm lump in the right upper abdomen, poor appetite and weight loss and sometimes a mild jaundice or vomiting. It can be easy to miss or confuse with something less serious. But here is the important part. If caught early, fetoblastoma is highly treatable and curable. Most children receive chemotherapy first to shrink the tumor and this is followed by a surgery to remove it. And in some advanced cases, we may even consider a liver transplant, especially if the tumor can't be removed safely or is affecting both sides of the liver. Survival rates, if treated in time, many children do really well. In fact, cure rates are as high as 80 to 90% in early stage cases. So what can parents do? If you ever notice persistent abdominal swelling or a lump in a toddler, don't wait. Insist on a proper ultrasound and a simple blood test called as alpha fetoprotein, which is often elevated in hepatoblastomas, can clinch the diagnosis. Early diagnosis makes all the difference. Please share this video with other parents, especially those with premature babies or children with genetic syndromes. It could help save a life.